Ten years ago, approximately, I was accused of stealing 19.5 billion naira from the Aviation Intervention Fund. I was charged. After some time, the EFCC, in their infinite wisdom, withdrew the charges and dropped them, given the fact there was absolutely no evidence for such a thing, and that that crime actually took place before I got there. Mm. After that, I was arrested again and detained for a second time, and I was charged with stealing 6.5 billion naira, again by the EFCC. Again, having detained me after some time, in their infinite wisdom, they suddenly realized that this offense took place before I became Minister of Aviation. They dropped all charges and they charged other people for that offense. After that, they now came after me and said that I had laundered 200 million naira. Uh, I'd laundered 200 million naira. Um, and they came up with, I believe it was a 45 count charge. After some time, a year or so later, or two years later, they decided in their infinite wisdom again, that they were actually wrong, that it was not to be a 45 count charge. So they amended their charges and made it into uh, a 40 Fox. count charge. Fox. And they accused me of stealing or, or mis of, uh, of um, laundering 99 million. So let's look at it. We started at 19.5 billion. We went to 6.5 billion. We went to 200 million naira. Then we went to 99 million naira. And now, with the developments in court today, I'm glad to say that it's been reduced from 99 million naira by the courts to, I believe I'm right in saying, 2.5 million naira. So from 19.5 billion to 2.5 to 2.5 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 million. And I'm relieved um, that we have got to this point now. And like I said earlier, I'm delighted to come and give an explanation as regards the 2.5 million naira um, that they are speaking about. Mm -hmm.